So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about loss of exponent. The first loss of exponents is product of a power. So a to the x, multiply it with a to the y, we have the same base. Copy the base and then add the exponent x plus y. So let us practice. So in the given example, that is m to the fifth times m to the 7. So we have the same base, copy m, and then add the exponent 5 plus 7, so that is equal to m to the 12th power. How about number 2? 3 to the 4th, multiply it with 3. So same base. So the exponent of 3, that is 1. So that becomes 3 to the 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1, that is equal to 5. Copy the base 3 and then 5. 3 to the 5th power, it means you need to multiply 3 5 times. So it means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So that becomes 243. How about number 3? 2 cube times 2 cube. So it means the base is 2. Let us copy. And then the exponent 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3, that is equal to 6. So, 2 to the 6th power. So, it means you need to multiply 2 6 times. So, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 2, that is equal to 64. So, 2 to the 6, that is equal to 64. How about the second loss of exponent? Power of a power. So the quantity a to the x raised to y, it is equal to copy the one base, and then let us multiply the exponent. So x times y. So let us apply in example number one. So n to the 4, so the quantity n to the 4 raised to the fifth power. So it means we need to copy the base that is n, and multiply the exponent 4 and then 5. So, 4 times 5, that is equal to 20. So, n to the 20. In number 2, we have 3 square raised to the second power. So, it means that becomes copy the base 3. And then 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. 3 to the 4th power, it means you need to multiply 3 4 times. So, 3 times 3, 9. Times 3, 27. Times 3, that is equal to 81. How about number 3? 5 square. So it means 1 times 2, that is equal to 5 square. And then 5 square, that is equal to 25. Because 5 times 5, that is equal to 25. How about the third loss of exponent? Power of a product. So the quantity a, b, raised to the x power. So it means a, 1 times x, is a to the x. b, 1 times x, that is b to the x. So it means, in example number 1, we need to multiply the exponent. So we have different base, multiply the exponent. So copy the base a, 1 times 5, that is 5, and then n, we need to copy 4, and then 5. So a to the 5th power, that is a to the 5th, and then 4 times 5, that is n to the 20th power. How about number 2? 3 square, the quantity 3 square times b cubed raised to the second power. So we have different base, so we need to multiply the exponent. Copy the base 3, and then 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. Copy the base b, and then the exponent 3 times 2. 3 to the 4th power, that is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, that is equal to 81. While here, 3 times 2, that is equal to b to the 6. So the answer is 81b to the 6. Next, how about number 3? The quantity 3ab cubed raised to the second power. So it means we have three different bases. So we need to multiply the exponent. So the exponent of 3 is 1. So copy the base 3 and then the exponent of 
3 is 1. So, 1 times 2, that is 2. Copy the base A. 1 times 2, that is equal to 2. While B, copy the base B, and then 3 times 2. So, let us multiply 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. Copy A squared, and then 3 times 2, that is equal to 6. So, B to the 6. So, the final answer is 9A squared, B to the 6th power. Fourth laws of exponent, that is quotient of a power. So it means a to the x all over a to the y. So it means we need to subtract the exponent, a to the x minus y. So let us subtract the exponent if the given is division. So we have the same b, so that becomes a only. And then subtract the exponent, 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2, that is equal to 5. So a to the fifth power. Next, number 2, we have the same base 2, so copy 2, subtract the exponent 7 minus 2, that is equal to 5. So, 2 to the 5th power, and 2 to the 5th power, that is equal to 2, times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2, the answer is equal to 32. How about number 3? 3 to the 7th power, all over 3 to the 7th power, so it means 3 to the 7 minus 7. So 7 minus 7, that is equal to 3 to the 0. And 3 to the 0, that is equal to 1. Pip laws of exponent, that is quotient of a power. So the quantity a over b raised to the x. So it means a to the x all over b to the x. In example number 1, that is the quantity x over y raised to the third power. So it means copy the base x, and then 1 times 3 is 3, and then the copy the base y, 1 times 3, that is equal to 3. So the final answer is x cubed, y cubed. How about number 2? So in number 2, first we need to uh, solve the numerator. So that becomes 3 raised to 1 times 3, that is 3 cubed, and then x, 1 times 3, that is x cubed, while the denominator 2, 1 times 3, that is 2 cubed, y, 1 times 3, that is y cubed. And we need to distribute 3, 3 times. So 3 times 3, 9 times 3, that is 27, copy x cubed, while here, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, that is 8, copy y cube. So the final answer is 27x cube over 8y cube. In number 3, so that becomes the quantity 5x squared all over 2y to the 7th power raised to 3rd power. So it means 5, copy the base 5, 1 times 3, that is equal to 3, so 5 cubed, and then copy the base x, 2 times 3, that is equal to 6. And then the denominator 2, 1 times 3, that is 2 cubed, copy the base y, 7 times 3, that is equal to 21. So 5 cubed, we need to multiply 5 3 times. So 5 times 5, 25 times 5, that is equal to 125. Copy x to the 6, while 2 cubed, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, that is equal to 8. Copy y to the 21. Instruction Simplify the following exponents. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.